much time in university classrooms, and I was hoping I could share briefly a bit of a perspective that I've gained from that. It's not true, but I hope it might be helpful. So in the sociology of social movements, uh, long-term social movements are considered to have, they have multiple stages of development. And I think that what we're engaged in here is what we call consciousness raising. That's a, that's a period where a large number of people know that something is very wrong, and they have a general idea of what it is, but they can't quite place it. And it's a critical moment because depending on our actions, we will either grow or shrink as a movement. I think that the, the issues that we're facing are enormous. I think they're... they're thank you, thank you, thank you. They're, they're, it's, it's probably larger than um, what some of our, our there's, there, dare I say, uh, more experienced uh, uh, activists from the 60s, much more complex. So I, I guess what I want to reiterate is uh, patience and a willingness to uh, build alliances with communities you might not want to do as previously thought that was a, a, a good idea. Like, like the police, like people in uh, business suits who probably don't make you know a billion dollars, but they still have to wear a business suit to go to work. It's vitally important that we don't alienate these people because we need them.
something. A great man once said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. and individualism. We have to get past this. We have to value collaboration over competition. Fuck racism. Fuck this. Come on! 